Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to do my update for my Project 10 slash Shop My Stash for the month. So last month I did a new intro for this project. It's a Shop My Stash, but every item that I pull in, I want to use at least 10 times before I put it back into my stash and I pick something else. So I'm just going to do a monthly update on this. And there are quite a few items that I have used 10 times. So I will be rolling in some new items um, and adding into my shop, my stash. So you'll be having a look, and see what's in my makeup stash. And yeah, we'll do a little bit of shopping, but I just want to do the update first. Um, but if you're not interested in this, you just skip ahead and then you can watch the actual shopping my stash section. <laughs> so I've got quite a lot of uh, products to go through. So I'll try to be as quick as I can. The NYX spray, I pulled this in. I used this 14 times. So this one's going to be rolling out. I do like it actually, to be honest. I would buy, buy it again. I think I'm about down here. So this one is getting pretty low. Um, when I use it, I use quite a few sprays. I'm, I'm quite generous with my sprays. And yeah, I actually quite like that. So that one was a success. I knew I liked it, but it was nice to roll it in and play around with it and use it this last month. Next one I've got is the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter. I've used this actually as a face powder, like a finishing powder. This is in the shade French Vanilla. So I don't know if you're going to see any sort of difference. There is a little bit of a dome still, but it's very shiny and beautiful. I actually have used this 10 times. So this one's gonna be rolling out as well. I actually really, really enjoy this. So um, I'm gonna be putting it into my face powders instead of my highlighters. I just don't use it as a highlighter, but as a face powder, I actually really, really enjoy it. Next up, I've got my Q&A Licorice Lip Oil. This one, I don't really like, but I did use it a lot. I used it 15 times this last month. So I'm gonna be rolling this out. Um, I don't feel like it moisturized my lips too much at all. I feel like if anything, my lips got drier after using it. So I don't particularly like it. It was the first, I think maybe not the first time that I've used it, maybe the second time that I've used it. So I think I'd only tried it once. Yeah, it was not, not a favorite of mine. It doesn't taste like licorice, but it also doesn't have a very nice taste. So yeah, that one might be on sort of a chopping block at some point because I am trying to get through lip products and I just don't know if I'm going to be able to finish that one. Next up is an e.l.f. product. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. Very, very bright. <laughs> you can't even see that. This is nice. It's got one of these applicators like the Yves Saint Laurent um, Touche Claire. And um, it's okay. It's very, very lightweight concealer. I can't really use it if I really want to cover anything, but it is, a, it is brightening, I guess, but it's very, very thin formula. I wouldn't buy it again. Um, I use this 17 times. So this one's also going to be rolling out. So, so far, all of these are rolling out. Um, yeah, I just use this along with my other concealer that I'm using just to add a little bit of brightness, but not really to conceal anything. <laughs> Okay, we're on to the first item that I'm not going to be rolling out yet. So I pulled in my Milani foundation. This is in the shade O2 Natural. I actually have it on today, but I had to put a lot of concealer on and powder just to brighten it up because it is very, very orange on me and I don't have a tan. So yeah, this one is not ideal. I have only used it five times this month. So I'm going to keep it in because I want to use it at least 10 times. But yeah, I just had to play around with it a little bit more. Um, it's just one of those fiddly ones where it's just not perfect and I know I have to use another product to make it work for me. And if I'm feeling lazy, then I just don't reach for it. Okay, onto one of my eyeshadow palettes. So I rolled in the Sigma Corda Rosa. Really, really uh, was excited to get this palette last in the last couple months. Um, but yeah, this one I am not gonna be rolling out yet. I have only used it four times. Honestly, I did a get ready with me, but I didn't post it just simply because it out of respect and also, you know, the things that I was talking about just sounded so stupid and mundane and with everything going on with the world, I really didn't want to post that. It was just useless to post it. But I did do a get ready with me with this. Um, and like sort of my first impressions and I have to say I'm not blown away by it. I feel like the formula is a lot stiffer than I would like. I really like creamy formulas and this one is a lot drier and stiffer. I don't think the shimmers are all that great. This shimmer is really weird. Like it's going black. Every time I swatch it, it's like got a black undertone to it. I don't know, it's, it's just a weird one. Um, I was so excited to get this palette 
and I do like it. I just don't love it, and it was quite expensive. I did get it on um, a sale though, so I didn't pay full price, but I know full price it is quite expensive. Obviously, it's Sigma. I don't know, I'm just not a fan. I think the I think the mattes are actually a little bit nicer, to be honest. There are some pretty shades though. I mean, Bella the Boar is pretty and that's a beautiful like inner corner topper shade. And I also like Campfire as well, but I thought I was going to like High Society and I really don't. Uh, this Dark Knight is just a little bit too dark. And yeah, I don't know. I, d I also found this, this shade to be patchy, the actual Corda Rosa shade didn't really work very well on me. So um, I've I technically have used it about five times, but in this project, I've only used it four times. And I did use every single shade at least once apart from, which one did I not use? I didn't use this one, Sun Sprite. Um, but I'll put up on the screen, I guess, how many times I used them this last month. Um, but yeah, just kind of a disappointment to be honest. Hopefully this next month I will like it a little bit more um, and I do need to use it six more times. So hopefully in the next six more times that I use it, I will change my mind, but I don't know. I think it's just the formula that I'm not super keen on. Okay, next up we have the Academy of Color Liquid Highlighter. This is a fail. I only used it once, so I still need to keep it in to the project. So yeah, that, there's not too much to say about it. I just didn't I, didn't, I didn't wear it. Next up, I've got an illuminating primer from Technique. This one I have used six times, so I need to keep it in. I actually kind of like this one. It is, I say I kind of like it. It is like a highlighter. It's basically a liquid highlighter. So when I put it on the face, if I was using it as a primer, my whole face is like shiny and glittery. It, it's as if I put this on my face. So I do like it if I want that look, that extra shiny, glowy look, but I wouldn't say it's an illuminating primer. It is more like a liquid highlighter base. I don't know, it, it's, a, it's a strange one. It's a little bit too glittery for me for like every day, but if I'm feeling it, then I'm feeling it and it, it, it's okay. Okay, next one is my Lime Crime Liquid Highlighter. This is in the shade Red Velvet. I actually have it on today. It is a nice one, but I've only used it three times, so I do need to keep it in. I've actually also added that to my musical panning project pan, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it gives me a little bit of a boost and incentive to use it, uh, because, yeah, I kind of failed this last month in using that one. The next item that I have is from my Makeup Revolution. It's the matte bronzer, but I basically Frank in this bronzer. I added some highlighter and I also tried to lighten it but probably failed. But it is quite a nice neutral colour now. It was a little bit, it's a little bit dark still for me, but I kind of like it. It's got more of a neutral look as opposed to an orange look, which I really like. Um, this one I have used it eight times, so I am gonna keep it in. I just want to use it a little bit more times. Still smells really nice because the original bronzer smelled like it's not like coconut, it's like pina colada smell. It's a strange one, but it's nice. Um, it still, still smells like that. But yeah, I am gonna keep that in because I did not use it 10 times yet. Okay, next one is another bronzer, which I have used nine times. I think I'm gonna roll this one out. I think, you know, I'm gonna cheat and roll it out. It is my Kinda Beauty uh, bronzer. It kind of looks like the Physician's Formula bronzer in terms of sort of the embossment and stuff. I think this is, um, yeah, this is a Korean brand, I believe. Oh no, it's not, what is this? I don't know where this is from. It's packaged in New York, and it's based in London. I have no idea where this is from. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna be rolling this one out. Use it nine times, I think that's close enough. And yeah, I'm quite happy with what, with, with how I've done it and what it looks like. and and so on. The next one that I have, I've used 11 times, and that is my Catrice highlighter. This was quite new, actually it was brand new. This is in, this is like a limited edition Advent Beauty, um, and it's a mini powder highlighter. It's the Lilac Frozen Glow, and this is what it looks like. So I've been using this mostly as an inner corner. I have a little bit of a dent there where my brush has been going on. 
Now, if I use this as an actual highlighter, it's a little bit too much for my face. I actually have it on today and for everyday looks, it's just too much. But as an inner corner, I think it is really, 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 really stunning. So really like that. I would definitely be using it as an inner corner from now on. It was really nice to see how it works because it was brand new to me. So yeah, this one I've used 11 times and I'm gonna be rolling that one out. Next up, I've got a MAC blush. So this is the blush that I pulled in. This was new to me. This is one of my Glow Play brush, uh, blah, Glow Play blushes. I always get stuck saying that. And this is the So Natural shade. I really, really enjoy it, but I have only used it six times. So I'm gonna be keeping it in. It is so, so stunning. Really, really natural color. For me, I just, I think it's really like a peachy, but it's also just, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful color and I really, really like the formula. So I'm going to be keeping that in. And then there's so many, <laughs> there's so many items here. Um, I had the Natasha Denona bronze cheek palette. This was also new to me. And this is obviously a face palette. So you have two creams here and then two powders here. I've used the palette five times in total, so I do need to keep it in. I used um, this one twice. I've used this blush four times. I have not used this shade because it's just too dark for me. And then I've used this one three times. I will say that I find the cream formula very, very strange. It is not very creamy. It is super, super stiff. And I was even like trying to see, I think under the surface, it you can actually get some product there, but I don't think it works nicely with a brush. I feel like it needs the warmth of your finger to warm it up to actually make it creamy. So that's something that I've noticed. Um, but yeah, as a whole, I need to use it five more times because I've only used it five times. Next up, I did pull in an eyeliner, which I think is crazy. It's a liquid eyeliner. This is from Only Oily Waterproof Eyeliner. Not really sure if that really is the brand, but it's just a black felt tip eyeliner. This one I have used four times, so I'm really proud of myself because I'm very, very bad with eyeliner, but I do need to keep it in and use it a little bit more, so I'm going to do that. And then I have a mascara from Laura Mercier. This is just a mini, but this one I've used 10 times. Let me just see what this is called. This is the Glossy Black. I can't, I can't see which one this is called. Oh, the Cavi Cav Caviar Volume. That's the mascara and it has one of these bushy wands, which normally I have actually not been enjoying the last few years, but I actually really like this mascara. I think it's really, really lovely. So you'll probably see this again at some point in my videos because I am soon to be done with uh, another mascara that I'm working on. So that one is rolling out because I've used it 10 times. And then the last item to talk about is the W7 On The Rocks palette, which is the ABH uh, subculture dupe. Well, they try to make it a dupe just with the color story, but obviously the formula is not the same at all. I've never tried W7 before attempting to try this palette. I have used this palette seven times, so this one is going to be staying because I actually have been enjoying the looks that I've created, even though the actual palette itself in terms of quality is pretty bad. I've been enjoying it. Um, so the shades that I've really liked is this Martini Olive. I've also liked Espresso Martini. And then the Champagne Toast is really not a good shimmer at all, but it has quite a nice color. So you, ha so I've had to use my NYX Glitter Glue to maybe try and get it a little bit more impactful because it's very, very nothing uh, without any sort of help but um honestly i think the mattes in here are actually really nice and i i know this is more of an autumnal sort of uh color story and like for fall and stuff but i've really been liking it i've been doing a little bit more grungier looks and i've been going for this more than my sigma palette so yeah i use the seven times i did not use every single shade yeah i'll just keep it in i think I could roll it out because I've used it seven times. I only really need to use it three more times, but I kind of would like to keep it in, to be honest. Um, but what I am going to do, because I'm going to hit that usage goal within the month before I do my update, I probably will select another palette to pull in so that once I hit the 10 uses, I'll have something else to work on so that, um, you know, I have a little bit more variety because I know I am going to be a little bit sick of these in the next couple of weeks. 
So, all right, I am going to go now over there and we are going to look at my stash and we're going to see what I'm going to pull. All right, hello. So let's look at my lip drawer. Um, <clears throat> yes, okay, so I do have a couple new things. I, I did go to Sephora um, a few weeks ago and I did get this Fenty lip gloss, like the bomb gloss. I got the shade Fussy and I would like to try it. Um, so I'm gonna take this one out. I really shouldn't be buying lip products, so I have been naughty because it is a no buy, but honestly, I just really wanted to and it was there. So that one I am going to take out. Um, the, also the other thing that I noticed that I was kind of missing is um, some neutral colors. So I've got sort of a bright orange that I'm working on. I've got sort of a mauvey pink. I've got like um, an orangey brownish color that I'm working on in projects, but I kind of want something that's just gonna be lightweight and just something I could pop on the lips. So I'm gonna take out this Lux um, from ColourPop. This is the Paper Pansy. I kind of want to just have something that's a little bit easier to use throughout the week and I think I also, let me just think about this. I have a red out. Um, I feel like another lipstick would do me well. So maybe this L'Oreal, this is the, what does that say? Rose Tendre. And this looks like this. It's very pink, but I, can't, I like wearing pink. So I'm going to take this one out as well and just see if, I have to remind myself I have to use these 10 times. I have to be careful with what I'm doing. Um, that's an awful lot. But yeah, I think I want to do that. So moving on. So foundation wise, I actually did get a couple new things. Um, I got this Skin Paradise from L'Oreal. I think this is supposed to be a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, however, I haven't tried it, so I don't know where I should put it. Um, I don't want to try that yet. I want to try this. So this is the Wet n Wild uh, foundation, the Dewy foundation. I've never tried Wet n Wild, so I feel like I want to try it. So I'm going to take that one out, and I still have a tan, so it's all. it looks like it's going to be a light shade for me. And then I also want to take out... Um, I'm going to take out this L'Oreal Infallible. I really like it. I know that it has mixed review reviews from some people, but I thought it was okay. And I'm almost done with my e.l.f. concealer, my um, hydrating e.l.f. concealer. And this one has sort of the same texture and similar color. So I kind of need that one. I think also I'm going to take out my Stay Matte from Rimmel and just see... Hello, there I am. And just uh, just have that in the, my stash for a few. And primer, ooh yeah, am I using a primer? Do I not have a primer in here? Oh yes, wait, I do, I have that weird primer. Okay, so I'm gonna take out, um, which one? I don't know, okay. You know, I have a lot of primers out, so actually I'm not gonna pull a primer right now. All right, this drawer is just getting so, so messy. Um, I, I need to clear it out a little bit, but I am going, oh yes, look, I got this. This, I also got this when I went to Sephora, I went to the Kiko store, um, Kiko Milano store in Lisbon, and I got this beautiful color. This is from the Blossoming Beauty range, and it's their floral bl uh, blush. So I got this, and then I got, also a few skincare items from them. But um, this is the shade Three Lovely Mauve. And it looks like this. So you've got one, like the actual flower part looks matte and then the rest of it is more of a shiny finish. So yeah, I think this is so beautiful. I'm gonna take this out. I would love to see what this looks like. I did swatch it quite a bit in store, but obviously haven't fully played around with it. So I'm gonna take that one out. Okay, and then I think I also want to take this one out. This is a bronzer from Milani. It is their Dolce Baked Bronzer. And I wanna give this some use. This doesn't, you know, has like a dome, um, but I would like to uh, just play around with it a little bit more. Um, I think I like it, but I think it's pretty light, but yeah, I'm gonna take this one out as well. 
I think also I want to use this. So I actually did order a beauty box, like a monthly beauty box from Pretty Obsessed. Um, and it, I ordered it in December and it only finally got to me right at the tail end of February. So I finally got some items um, that from the January box. This is the Bellini Baked Highlighter. I want to see what this is like. I've cancelled my subscription because it honestly just uh, <laughs> ended up costing way too much money with all like import tax and stuff like that. And it was obviously very, very late. But I wanted to see sort of what products they send over. And I don't think it's really worth the price because I got the expensive box that they have. And the products really don't retail for very much. So I think, honestly, it's not worth the money. But I wanted to test it out. But um, yeah, anyways. So I want to pull this out and have a play around with it. It is a pink highlighter. So we'll see. Okay, so moving on. I do want to take out another mist. Um, let me take this one out. This has got a weird spray, but I'm going to take it out. This is the Laura Geller Spackle Mist Restore Coconut Water and it primes, sets and refreshes. So I'm going to take this one out. I know I've been really bad. No, three other palettes. Oh my gosh. So I didn't order and I bought some palettes from Alter Ego, which obviously is in the States and I'm in Portugal. So it took, to be fair, it did actually only took about maybe a month and then it was like stuck in duties uh, uh like import tax and stuff for a while um and i had to pay like extra to get it out but anyway i got the shadow kiss which looks very very beautiful so this is like this and obviously it is supposed to be a dupe for one of the natasha denona's this is actually one of the natasha denona palettes that i really want but i haven't been able to find a good price for um, it's like their glam palette and so I got it from Alter Ego and I got all three of these palettes for like the price of one Natasha Denona palette so I don't know I feel like that's a win I know that's bad but it's still you know I, I think it's a win and I want to I want to pull this one out so I'm gonna I am gonna wear that one but I, I will show you the other ones I got I got the Canon one or Canyon one so um this is what it looks like you know the reason that i started looking at alter ego is because of becca hope i know a lot of people have alter ego but becca if you're watching this um you know you obviously are the dupe queen and you have lots of lovely gorgeous looking palettes and so i started looking at them and i know that was another one that kind of was discontinued or didn't didn't ship out internationally but alter ego does ship out internationally and yeah this is the glow palette so um Thank you for, you know, uh, feeding into my, my shopping habits, I guess. Um, I'm not going to take this one out. I don't feel like I want to at this point. And then the other palette, this is the reason why I went to Alter Ego. I really want the Metropolis, but obviously you can't get the Metropolis from Natasha Denona anymore because it is discontinued. So I got the next best thing, which is the Artemis palette with the same color story and i yeah don't judge please but um i'm actually actually instead of the glam one or like the shadow kiss one instead of this one i'm going to pull this one out instead i think yeah this is a bigger palette but i i just want to use this i want to use every single shade and yeah i want to play around with it i'm excited about this this is why i did the order so i want to take this one out actually first all right so this is everything i'm going to be using for the next month um obviously some of this i don't need to use 10 times i mean like a full 10 times because i've already used some of them so i'll just finish it up and then all these other new products i would like to use 10 times or more um and yeah obviously i pulled in some newer items but i'm super excited i want to use this project to test out new items or items that i don't really have a good opinion on or I'm not really sure of or really tried once or twice. Obviously, there are some items in here that I do know I like and I have used more than that. Um, but, you know, there's a variety. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to. And I will see you next time. Bye.